right, so let's take a look around, shall we? It was a trap door in the sidewalk. I was gonna say sewer grate, but trap door works. It was a featureless plastic box firmly attached to the wall of the building. I tugged at the plastic cover, but it didn't move. Hi there! What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Rosso's the name. Murder's my game. Are you a detective? Let's just say I'm here to find the truth. Cool. Just like on the telly. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run. From me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks. Every last penny. Down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother. Bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy her medicine. Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I. See what your darling son has burnt with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. You Compared think? to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. Alright. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Kind of annoyed. As much as I like the music, I'm kind of annoyed about how it seems to be easily overshadowing the speech. So I'm going to turn it down just a tad, turn up the speech a little bit. Oh, and I did a little research, by the way, and I found out who the main voice for George was. Rolf Saxon. Rolf Saxon. I'm sure everyone immediately recognizes who that is. I had to look it up on IMDb. It turns out the only role I recognize him in was the role in a movie known as Mission Impossible by the name of, or, uh, and, and a uh, character by the name of one William Donalow. That's right. The CIA guy who can access the secret room is Rolf Saxon. Who is playing this character that is not who i thought it was but what can i say my memory when i hear a voice it's recorded forever and i never forget it i i recognize a voice just about anywhere it really is an uncanny talent of mine i may not know where it's from or who made it but i recognize it so just some trivia fyi hey mcguire what what can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only, what do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Yeah, your face looks like you ain't scared of nothing. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. And really, this is supposed to be a kid? <laughs> the voice really makes him sound like he's about 30. Eh, whatever. You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worst. It was coming from inside the castle. Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? 
No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows. I could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home. But me legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on me ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing and horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why, I fell off the bloody wall. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Lochmarne? They all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I How saw. How do you know he's psychotic? This clown see. And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff. Only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God. That doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Of 30. Who you call it a kid? I'm 25. Or 25. Yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. Oh no, no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't, because he's not here now. But if I seize him, I'll ask him. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons, like in the films. Films. Do you recognize this matchbook, Maguire? No, sir. I never seen it before in my life. Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seed him. Have you ever seen anyone wearing one of these? Sure. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That belongs to the killer clown you're looking for. That's right. Can I have it? Sorry, I'm keeping this as evidence. You should have told the cops. I did. They weren't interested. You should run tests on that, mister. You could identify the murderer with a sample of his snot. Yuck. I don't think so. Actually, that would be a really good idea. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing. Ever heard of Thomas Merlin or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? No. Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. <laughs> I just want to shake your hand, that's all. No way. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. I can tell that's not ever going to work once in the entire game, but it's still funny just to try it. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. Nope. <laughs> Had to try it. Into the pub. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. What can you tell me about the castle? There is nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. Do you know Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Can I get you another drink? Oh, no thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. I'm on tablets and my nerves. 
more than a pint and I'll pass out. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I'm sure I don't know him. Shake my hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn it, you're right. <laughs> Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Check out this pass. No. Thomas Merlin? No. Never heard of him. You're not a lot of help, are you? See you later. It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. It was a rectangle of toweling printed with the words, Nagopaline Stout Builds Body. Hi there, old timer. What? Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police. No. I'd know it if you were. Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Doc Barn Castle is haunted. That's what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Bum, bum, bum. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee, stunted beast. Long beak, straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch Marl? That'll be the day. No, that was a ghost, to be sure. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Loch Marl. Oh! Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No, I don't know him. What's that you're making? It's a necklace, me bucko. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. When my little lover feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. <laughs> wow, creepy. Okay. <laughs> Do you recognize the man in this photograph? I can't tell without my glasses. Could you use this towel? I could, but it wouldn't be much use for anything else. What does this matchbook mean to you? Nothing. Go away and stop bothering me. I like it. Straight and to the point. Hey, would you like to shake my... Uh, no, <laughs> I'm second part together. Take a look at this ID card. I don't know anything about it. Alright, I think I'll see done. you later. Surely the bartender knows something. <laughs> <laughs>